morning. It's about 8.30 and uh, I am here at the Pete's Place entrance for the Massasauga doing a kayak trip this weekend. Super excited. Um, booked the site uh, quite some time ago um, because um, I wanted to do a kayak trip in between all the canoe trips I've been doing and um, I'm actually heading to a different part of the park today that I, that I haven't been to yet. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that. So I'm going to get going. I'm going to go get my permit and get my boat on the water and start paddling. All right, I just got my permit and I am heading to the water. No time wasted there. Got the kayak off the car, packed it, moved the car. It's nine o'clock and I'm ready to head out onto the water. Beautiful day here today on Blackstone Harbor. Uh, winds are a little high, 23 to 27 kilometer gusts expected. Um, but I'm in a fairly sheltered area, I think. I guess I'll find out. And. Um, and I'll start making my way to my campsite. I'm just out here paddling. And uh, the wind hasn't been too bad. The last uh, area that I was on, it was pretty strong. There were some pretty good waves. Um, seems to be a little bit more sheltered here. And uh, there's also a lot less boat traffic. I just passed a bunch of sea dews flying around and speedboats. And you know, it's like 9.30 in the morning. Um, they're whipping around out here though. And uh, I also just passed a bunch of people fishing. Some lady caught a, I believe it was a 25 inch pike. starting to change. So sad. <laughs> well, according to the map, I am just uh, coming up to the entrance of Moon River. Um, still have a little bit of a ways to go to get to my site. Maybe half an hour. I've been paddling for just over an hour. And um, it's nice and calm here where I am. Um, too many boats. I can hear the boats in the distance, um, but I don't really see any. There's just a, a few cottages out here and um, a lot of uh, natural open space, so that's nice. Really pretty area that I'm in. No cottages, no people, and I hear some chipmunks and some birds. Well, it's 10.30 and uh, just about to my site. I just have to go through um, a little passage here. I actually uh, just thought I saw some bears. I was so excited. Um, and I'm still looking at them across the way and it still looks like there's bears, but they're not bears, obviously. They're not moving, so... Oh well, anyway, <laughs> um, my excitement for the day. Uh, I've got to go through a little passage and um, it's actually called Bear Island, which is funny. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's called Bear Island, I don't know. I even get my own little sign here. The Massasauga Designated, designated Overnighting Bay, Port Rawson. And uh, that's where I'm staying, in Port Rawson Bay. Well, I came around the corner and smack dab into some nice winds. <laughs> Water is super choppy and uh, it's a bit tough to paddle. I think my site should be right across there. I see a site there, but it doesn't look like the pictures that I saw of the site, but uh, it could be. Maybe it looks different when I get closer. I'm going to make my way over. Well, I'm here at my site. Um, I'm in the Massasauga. It was about a one and a half hour paddle 
um, to get here. And then I pulled up to the site and I don't know why, but it just didn't look like it did in the pictures and I didn't like it. So I knew there was another site that was open on the other side that I almost booked, but someone had booked it the night, like last night. And so I knew I couldn't get on it early or I might have the, the option to have to wait until two o'clock. So I booked this site. So I called the parks office when I got a signal. I've got a sketchy signal here and I thought, you know what, um, can I switch sites? And she said, well, this site and this site is open. And then I got, I lost my signal. So I jumped in the kayak. I paddled all the way across the other side, which took me, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes to check out these two other sites. They were both really shitty. <laughs> um, not really shitty, I mean, they would have done, but this one was way better. So I came back here and I called her and I said, yeah, um, this site's the best one actually out of them all, so I'm just gonna stay here. And she said, no worries. She was really nice and um, yeah, just kind of killed like almost two hours of my day doing that. And it's about three o'clock. I got all the things done. Um, I did kind of a photo shoot. Um, someone had asked me for a special uh, picture for their um, the cover of their book. Uh, so I worked on that for a bit. Uh, I went for a swim. I had some lunch, set up the hammock. I got a whole bunch of firewood up there. Um, the tent is here. It's not actually staying here. It's not level at all or anything. Um, but uh, from what I can figure, I'm going to have the sunset right across from my site. And um, I'm just going to leave the tent there for now to see if I can get some really cool shots with the kayak. Uh, I already took a picture with the hammock and the hammock is in it as well as the tent as well as my kayak. So uh, these are a few of my favorite things. Pretty nice photo. Anyways, I am sitting here in the beautiful sunshine. It is so nice and warm. It says it's 17. I would say uh, it's about 25 here, maybe 27. Um, I don't know if you can see out on the water. There's ripples out on the water everywhere, but right here by my site, there's barely any. Um, there's like a line right here and the wind is just blowing right past so I'm not getting any wind I'm just getting sun and I'm sitting on these beautiful rocks um, and uh, just chilling so. set up in there uh, a whole bunch of wood there's my saw and then I have some bigger pieces there I can always cut the wood after dark but I don't like going to get it in the forest when it's dark so um, that's that I got a nice grill there it's charging my solar light I'll have to move it and um, that's about that I got all my stuff here right now on the picnic table at the luxurious glamping site at the Massazaga <laughs> um, probably gonna put my tent over here there's a really nice flat spot over here um, but because uh, I want to leave it down there for pictures um, I'm just leaving it empty right now but I didn't want to have to blow up my thermo rest and all that stuff later so I blew up my thermo rest uh, I blew up my pillow 
which is in the hammock waiting. I'm just waiting until the sun comes low enough and then uh, I'm gonna hang out in there. It's a little, um, it's not cold out, but it was chilly this morning and um, just have my food bag hanging there for now. Um, I don't like to leave it on the ground in my bathing suit. Um, I don't like to leave it on the ground because, uh, you know, I don't want chipmunks and stuff to get into it. Um, but I do have a, a rope way back there somewhere um, all hung up and ready to go to hang the food later tonight whenever I'm done with it. So, And my water filter is back there hiding behind the tree because it was in the sun over there and it was getting really warm. So. So that is the beautiful sight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hang on, I have to show you the privy. I'll, I'll just cut to it one sec. This is um, quite the setup here. Got the normal privy. Um, you know, it's all rotten and whatever. Grand, oh look, there's a bug. I'm gonna make sure this stuff is all gone. And over here <laughs> is like a little outhouse. Um, I think, my very first backcountry trip when I stayed on, I want to say it was Rock Lake, uh, the one where the campground is, that lake. Um, there was a, a bathroom like this, and uh, actually the side had a half moon cut out to, le to let the light in, but um, <laughs> somebody left some teepee in there so the animals got to it. But uh, I don't know, I guess it's even got a hand sanitizer machine in it, but obviously there's no sanitizer. And uh, some air conditioning. <laughs> um, it's not supposed to rain this weekend, so I don't think I'll be using that, but I just thought it was pretty cool. I figured I would share that with you guys. <laughs> nice view from the privy. Hello. Um, well, I didn't catch any fish. I got totally skunked. I'm kind of bummed. Um, I fished for about an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. And, uh... People keep coming in front of the site just around the corner and there's probably been about seven boats here and the seventh one came just as I was kind of thinking, oh, I should start heading out to do some fishing, maybe try to catch dinner and they stayed there forever and they caught like three or four fish. So finally I'm like, okay, I'm tired of waiting, I'm just going out there. So they had drifted up to almost where my site was. so. I kind of checkered them and jumped over top of them and went over to the spot and nothing not one bite not one nibble nothing I changed my lure like four times I had a fake worm on a jig I had a MEPS spinner um, like two different three different kinds I don't know nothing happened so um, I'm making pizza <laughs> um, it's a pretty good consolation uh, I like my pizzas and I just made one not that long ago um, on my uh, Algonquin five day trip I think it was. It was so good. Okay, I'm just gonna show you a shot and then I'm gonna get the pan ready and get this baby's cooking. It's gotta be almost done. I don't want it to burn. It's dark brown. Gold and crunchy like the last one, but I don't know why. The other one cooked for a while. It's kind of getting black in the middle. Just a little bit on the outside, they're still not brown. But the cheese is uh, pretty much melted, so I'm going to take it off. I don't want to burn it. And what I'm going to do put this on top of here. Actually, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to eat the pizza first and then I'll make the second one because there's no point in having them both sitting here getting cold. Look at this one. Let's see. Mm. Pretty good. It's not as good as the last one, but it's still really good. It was so good. Last time I almost made it at home. <laughs> I'm trying to make my camp food at camp so that I don't get sick of it. Anyways, cheers. <laughs> the pizza on a wrap is amazing. <laughs> um, the bottom got nice and brown. And 
I don't know, it's like because I fold it in half, there's like a crispy layer in the middle somehow. It's really, really, really good. Mm. It's almost like mm, flaky, like a pastry, but in a pizza. Got a beautiful view here from my hammock. Fire's going nice all by itself. Gorgeous pink sunset tonight. And just saying goodbye to the day. Goodbye day. You were great. Thank you. I came out, got a few pictures of the sunrise, and uh, I've been fishing for about an hour and a half. Totally getting skunked. I haven't gotten one bite, one nibble again. Did the same thing, used a worm, a bunch of different lures, nothing. So um, it's really cold out. Uh, it's about six or seven degrees. My hands are freezing, so I'm gonna head in and uh, make breakfast and have a hot chocolate and warm myself up. A little slow going this morning. Um, first order of business, I've got some um, water on here to boil, and I'm going to make myself a nice big cup of hot chocolate uh, with some Baileys in it. Um, yeah, I have to drive in like three hours, <laughs> a half an hour home, so I'm not too worried about it, plus I usually only put like a half a shot in. I'm all like, oh, hot chocolate with Baileys, but I really just put a little, a little swig in. I don't use that much because um, it's not that great for my colitis. So yeah, just waiting for that, and then I'm gonna get breakfast started. Get my work. Complete with pine needles. <laughs> I added protein. All right, there we go. We got all the egg out. I need a lot too, maybe. Oh, yeah, got it. Okay, it's a two-handle job. <laughs> That's what you have to do when your when your surface, your cooking surface, isn't even, I guess. Well, it's around 1.30 and um, just finished packing up my site. Just been taking my time. Got about a two hour paddle out. And then uh, by the time I get my car and pack it up and get home, probably got about three hours till I get home. So I'm um, just gonna take my time. And uh, the wind doesn't look too strong, so that's good. It was blowing pretty hard this morning, but it seems to have died down. So um, hopefully I just have a, a nice easy paddle out. Moving along quite nicely. Uh, so far, everything is lovely. The sun is shining nicely and uh, the wind isn't too bad, but when it picks up, boy, is it cool. And uh, it, it makes things tough, but um, otherwise, it's all good. the last, uh, I don't know, half hour or so. So I've just been paddling. Um, I saw a loon and a baby, but every time I tried to get a picture, they dumped underwater and then a boat came by and then they disappeared for a while. So um, lots of speed boats passing by here in the last uh, half hour I've been paddling. I'm just coming up to Woods Bay. Probably a half an 
an hour ish uh, to get back to the takeout. Well, the last little bit has been uh, difficult. Uh, probably about 10 or 15 minutes ago. I just looked it up, it said 40 kilometer gusts. And so it's strong wind, I'm paddling pretty hard, the waves are up, and these three boats come through this narrow little channel that I'm already in and just blow by me. Like they were going so fast, made these massive waves on top of the waves that were already there. I had to pull over to the side and uh, I just don't really understand. I mean, it's, it's a minute out of your day to slow down. Um, when you're in a situation like that, you see someone in a smaller vessel. Um, it would be nice to have some consideration and, uh, you know, don't just think about yourself. All three boats, I think they were together. They had coolers. They all had coolers in their boats and all kinds of gear. Like, they were either camping out there or they were at a cottage somewhere. Maybe that's only boat only access, but just fly past, right? And making so much ruckus and I don't know it just really really upset me so I'm sorry but uh, my rant's over I just I would really like it if people that were out there in speedboats like that would have some some thought for paddlers in smaller vessels it would be very much appreciated oh, I'm just about at the takeout um, it looks like it's rammed with people so I am gonna uh, do my recap now. Uh, great one-nighter, beautiful sight. Loved the paddle in, it was nice. Uh, loved where I was. Um, did not like the paddle out at all. Uh, really hard winds to fight, but just a lot of power boats and speed boats just everywhere. Um, not peaceful at all, not naturey at all. Just not my thing. So, um, goods and bads. I'm glad I got out in my kayak though. And, uh, Looking forward to my trip next week. Um, I'm gonna be doing tomogamy, so I'm really looking forward to that. So I uh, hope you come back and check out some more videos and I hope you enjoyed uh, this one. Take care.